Painting a room shouldn't be difficult. A little preparation, basic knowledge of techniques, the right tools, and of course, a great teacher is all you need. Rudy Escalante of Rudy's Quality Painting demonstrates how to tackle a paint job. We're gonna get ready to paint one wall in accent color. I'm gonna show you how to get ready to prep, prep the walls, put paper down, how to use the brush, I'm using two coats on a uh, strong base accent color. Prepping the job site properly will result in less cleanup and a smoother workflow. Choosing the right tools will also make the job look and feel more professional. For your corners, you have what, what's called a sash brush. And the sash brush is used, cut in an angle, and it's designed this way to get in the corners as opposed to just a regular brush. So you always want to use sash for corners and for cutting in. Cover your floor and furniture to prevent spray and drips from causing stains. Before you paint, fill in all the nail holes and dings with latex caulk. Until you're a pro, use the blue painter's tape to keep from getting your new color onto the woodwork. Trimming around doors, woodwork, ceilings, and such is called cutting in. That 45 degree sash brush is ideal for cutting in. An eggshell will uh, is really considered a latex enamel and what it does it gives you, it, it's much harder and it also gives you uh, scrubbability as far as cleaning as opposed to uh, inexpensive or flat paint that a lot of times will not allow you to clean it or wipe it. Roll the paint on with smooth even strokes, being careful not to overload the roller with paint. Choose the roller to match the job. A 3 8 inch nap will work with most smooth and semi-smooth walls. A longer nap works best on textured finishes. Remember what I always say, two coats. Well now what we're looking at here is, is the uh, first coat drying. You can see here the uh, white is coming protruding through the uh, paint color here because you got a white wall with the uh, deep dark base green here. We all sell the primers, we sell the paint, but if two coats actually will do the job without a primer. Even if you're doing a dark wall. The first one, let it dry, go back over it. Pretty much the same thing. Ready for a second coat is when you could touch the paint here and it doesn't come off. It's pretty much dry, good enough for a second coat. When the first coat is dry, it's time to start over. Repeat the same steps in the same sequence. Cut in, roll on. Remember, latex paints will dry in 20 to 30 minutes and be ready for the second coat. Oil-based paints must sit overnight before reapplying. While the paint is still wet, carefully remove the painter's tape. Wipe off any spots and touch up any blemishes. Clean up the area, step back, and admire your work. Now we got your top coat paint on here. Solid top coat paint. We came in, covered the floors, covered the nail holes, checked for cracks. We put tape on the baseboards started the cut in around the edges and then we rolled the first coat. Now we waited for it to dry within 20 minutes of dried enough for our hand touch and then we applied the top coat on. Now you want it to dry before you put your cover plates on or put any pictures back up or anything against the wall. Like most every home improvement project, organization is the key. Links to Rudy's Quality Painting, Bearings Hardware and Pratt & Lambert Paint can be found below. For Home Show Radio, I'm Tom Tynan.